You're on one side of the cosmos and you want to get to the other without having to traverse the vast, daunting stretches of empty space. Well, wormholes, at least in theory, allow for just that. They've been a staple of science fiction from Star Trek to Interstellar, capturing our collective imaginations with their promise of interstellar shortcuts. But what exactly are wormholes? In simplest terms, they're like tunnels with two ends, each at separate points in space-time. That's right, time is part of the equation too. So, theoretically, you could not only travel from one side of the universe to the other, but potentially from one era to another. Intriguing, isn't it? Now let's delve into the scientific theories that support the existence of these cosmic shortcuts. Albert Einstein, a name synonymous with genius, had a groundbreaking theory that first proposed the possibility of wormholes. Delving into the depths of Einstein's theory of general relativity, we find a revolutionary concept that changed our understanding of space and time. Einstein imagined the universe not as three-dimensional, but as a four-dimensional fabric woven together, where time and space are inseparable. This fabric, known as space-time, is curved by the mass and energy within it. Picture a trampoline with a heavy ball in the center. The ball creates a dip, a curve, which is analogous to the gravitational pull an object exerts in space. Now what if this fabric could be folded, creating a shortcut through space-time? This is where the idea of wormholes comes in. They are essentially bridges, a tunnel, through space-time, connecting two distant points in the universe. An intriguing solution to Einstein's field equations of general relativity indeed. But what are these field equations? Simply put, they describe how matter and energy in the universe interact with the fabric of space-time, causing it to curve. They are the backbone of Einstein's theory, and when solved, they give us possible models of the universe. Among these solutions, we find wormholes, structures that are theoretically permissible within the framework of general relativity. However, it's important to understand that just because something is mathematically possible, it doesn't mean it exists in reality. The equations allow for the existence of wormholes, but whether they actually exist in our universe is a different question altogether. It's like solving a mathematical equation that also has negative solutions. Even though negative numbers are valid solutions, they may not make sense in a real-world context. Wormholes, as solutions to the equations of general relativity, are fascinating. They are bridges that could potentially link different parts of the universe or even different universes altogether. They are a testament to the power of Einstein's theory and the inherent beauty of mathematics. But the question remains, do these solutions to Einstein's equations exist in our universe or are they just theoretical? To answer that question, we need to turn to the world of quantum physics and the concept of exotic matter. Exotic matter, not to be confused with dark matter or antimatter, is a type of theoretical matter that violates one or more classical conditions of physics. In the case of wormholes, we're interested in exotic matter because it's believed to have negative energy density. Now why is that important? Because negative energy density might be the key to keeping a wormhole open. You see, wormholes, as predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, are inherently unstable. They blink in and out of existence in fractions of a second, far too quick for anything to pass through. But if we introduce exotic matter with negative energy density into the equation, things start to change. The negative energy counters the natural tendency of the wormhole to collapse, effectively propping it open. Now let's dive a little deeper into quantum physics. Quantum physics, or quantum mechanics, is the branch of physics dealing with phenomena on a very small scale, such as atoms and subatomic particles. It's a world where things can be in two places at once, where particles can pop in and out of existence, and where nothing is as it seems. So how does quantum physics support the existence of wormholes? Well, it's all about quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations allow particles and energy to briefly come into existence and then annihilate without violating energy conservation laws. It's these fluctuations that might allow for the creation of wormholes. But here's the catch. These quantum wormholes would be tiny, far too small for anything larger than a particle to pass through, and they'd still be incredibly unstable, even with exotic matter. So while quantum physics might support the existence of wormholes, 
it doesn't necessarily make them practical or usable. As we can see, the existence of wormholes is theoretically possible, but theories aren't enough. We need evidence. Science is all about evidence. So what evidence do we have for the existence of wormholes? When it comes to wormholes, we are standing on the precipice of the unknown. The truth is, we don't yet have direct observational evidence of these cosmic shortcuts. That's largely because if they do exist, they're likely to be microscopic, smaller than atoms, and thus not observable with our current technology. However, that doesn't mean that we've hit a dead end. Far from it. We're turning to indirect evidence looking for the subtle signs and fingerprints that wormholes might leave behind. One of the most promising of these is gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by the acceleration of massive objects. These waves were first predicted by Einstein in his theory of relativity and were directly observed for the first time in 2016. If wormholes exist, they might also produce these waves, providing us with a potential way to detect them. Scientists are also examining how wormholes might affect the behavior of light and matter. For instance, a wormhole could cause light to bend in a specific way, creating a distinctive pattern that we could potentially observe. And then, there's the tantalizing possibility of exotic matter. This is a type of matter that's theorized to have negative energy density and could, in theory, be used to keep a wormhole open. If we could detect this exotic matter, it might be a strong indication of the existence of wormholes. But let's be clear, these are all possibilities, not certainties. The search for wormholes is a journey, a scientific exploration into the deepest mysteries of the universe. Each new discovery, each piece of evidence brings us one step closer to potentially confirming or refuting their existence. While the evidence is not conclusive, the search is far from over. The quest for knowledge, the thirst for understanding, is what propels us forward. In the realm of wormholes, we are just beginning to scratch the surface, and who knows what fascinating revelations lie ahead. The existence of wormholes remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in physics. As we venture deeper into the cosmos, this enigma becomes more compelling and perplexing. Scientists are grappling with the challenge of proving or disproving wormholes' existence. They are like detectives sifting through the cosmic dust for clues. Wormholes in theory are shortcuts through space-time, predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, yet their existence remains unproven. This is largely due to their elusive nature. Wormholes, if they exist, are likely unstable, fleeting, and possibly microscopic. This makes them incredibly difficult to detect with our current technology. Moreover, even if we were to stumble upon a wormhole, there's the issue of safety. Would it be safe to travel through? Or would it collapse upon entry, crushed by the immense gravitational forces? These are the questions that keep physicists up at night. Despite these challenges, the scientific community is not deterred. Ongoing research aims to find indirect evidence of wormholes. For instance, they could potentially affect the movement of stars or galaxies in observable ways. We're also exploring the world of quantum physics where the rules of the game change dramatically. Here, wormholes might not just exist, but could be stable and usable. Looking to the future, our understanding of wormholes could transform dramatically with advancements in technology and theoretical physics. New telescopes may allow us to observe distant cosmic phenomena with greater precision. Improved understanding of quantum mechanics and exotic matter could provide the keys to the wormhole mystery. As we stand on the precipice of these potential discoveries, the anticipation is palpable. Will we find the proof we're looking for? Will we finally be able to say with certainty that wormholes exist or will they remain elusive, forever hiding in the shadows of our understanding? The journey to uncover the truth about wormholes is full of twists and turns, much like the wormholes themselves. The quest continues and the mystery deepens as we reach for the stars and beyond. In the cosmic ocean, wormholes remain elusive, yet tantalizing possibilities. This journey has taken us from the genius of Einstein's theory of relativity, a cornerstone of modern physics, to the bizarre world of exotic matter and quantum physics. We've delved into the subtle energies and peculiar particles that might be the key to unlocking these cosmic shortcuts. We've followed the tireless search for evidence, 
a quest that spans across galaxies and challenges the very fabric of our reality. We've also touched on the unsolved mysteries and future research, the tantalizing questions that keep scientists up at night, and the groundbreaking discoveries that could be just around the corner. While we may not have definitive answers, the search for wormholes continues to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe, proving once again that reality is far stranger than fiction.